Automated Agents Building with Autogen. That's right. You don't need to manually build agents anymore. Autogen just introduced a new feature in which you can tell Autogen what exactly you would like to accomplish. And based on this, it's going to automatically create relevant agents. And I will show you two examples in a few minutes. One of them is more content related and the other one is more code related. Before we dive into the examples and the showcasing of this ability, which I think is mind blowing, I will just briefly cover how you can install this. The same process like always, you create an, an Aconda environment, you git clone the repository, open Visual Studio Code, make sure that your files are updated, then you add your API keys by finding this file, open or OAI config list sample, you rename it to OAI config list.json. You choose the model that you would like to use and you update your API keys. That's it from the setup perspective. Then what you can do is basically copy this file, which is a very straightforward and simple file. We will cover it in a moment and you just run the script. Now I've used, I tested two use cases. The first is a content creation use case in which I asked Autogen to create seven LinkedIn posts for me under the assumption that I am a copywriter and I want to write about copywriting. So I gave it, like I, I launched the script and then this was started happening. Generating agents, it decided it should create the following agents, content strategist, copywriter, social media manager, graphic designer, and SEO specialist. So these are the agents that he decided we should create. And then it prepared configuration for all of them. And then he created the agent for all of them. And you can see here, he is using the model that I specified. And then it just started creating uh, the normal chat or brainstorming that we are used to from running multiple agents, the normal conversation. So create seven LinkedIn posts for a copywriter that tries about copywriting. This is what I asked it to do. And then the copywriter wrote post one, the power of headlines. On average, eight out of 10 people will read your headline, but only two of 10 will read the rest, blah, blah, blah. I won't cover everything right here. Then it created another post. Every brand has a story and as copywriters, it's our job to tell it the way that resonates. Okay. Another post about the psychology of persuasion. Another post about SEO and copywriting. Another post about the art of CTA. Another post about copywriting trends to watch and the value of editing in copywriting. Then social media manager took over. Thank you for utilizing my service. If you have any more tasks, feel free to reach out. Have a great day. It seems a bit confused. Then <laughs> the graphic designer moved in. As an AI language model, I don't have the capability to create visual content. He basically said it cannot accomplish it. And then it iterated again. Then the SEO specialist moved into the conversation and suggested a few ideas for generating a graphical content in our designs. So visual ideas, the anatomy of a killer headline, crafting the perfect headline in, the, in its art. I won't cover everything. Just want to show you the scope and what it did. And that's basically it. I wasn't so happy about this. Probably there are a lot of configurations that we need to make in order for it to work better. Um, but I also created another use case in which I asked it to create a simple snake game. I will show you this example as well. Yes, so here you can see it decided to create the following agents. So game designer and software developer. Again, it prepared the configuration of both of them and it created both agents and then it started working. The software de developer said, to create a simple snake in Python, we will use the, the courses library, which is used for creating text-based user, text user interfaces. 
and then it wrote a step by step plan for our snake game. Initialize the screen using cursors. Create a game window and set up the boundaries. Initialize the snake's starting position and the food position. Define the snake's movement and how it responds to key presses. To key presses. Implement the logic for the snake to grow when it eats food and to generate new food. Handle collusion detection with the snake's own body and the world. Implement a scoring system. End the game when the, when the snake collides with the wall or itself. And clean up and restore the terminal to its original state. So it's a pretty comprehensive plan. And then it wrote the Python code. As you can see. And then it suggested how I can run the Python code. But unfortunately, it didn't work for me. Then it provided a few um, like ideas for improvement and how we can fix this. I tried following the advice and yet again, it didn't work. And then I just decided to give up <laughs> and move forward with my day because it uh, seems like a waste of time. So to conclude, um, I think this feature is another improvement with regards to how we can employ or deploy agents. Uh, the end result wasn't good in my opinion, but it was interesting to see how this framework chooses to create agents. And funny enough for the content creation, it created like, I don't know, it was five agents, five different agents. And for something that seems to me a bit more complex, which is developing a snake game, it only chose to create two agents. So it kind of give you maybe an understanding regarding what is what is happening behind the curtains and how this framework prioritizes or evaluates the complexity of tasks. But I, I don't know, I'm not sure about this. Um, I think it would be interesting to run this script of, I mean, this request of creating a simple snake game within Task Weaver, which is another framework by Microsoft, which is called First and then compare between them. I know that a lot of other YouTubers are just asking ChatGPT to generate the, the snake game for them. And whenever you, we're using GPT-4, it is working very well. So I'm pretty disappointed by the end results, but I'm pretty excited about this idea of agents generating agents um, behind the scenes and not without creating like an agent that generates agents. That's it for now. If you have any questions or any ideas regarding how we can improve the script, I'd be happy to hear about this because I think this is very powerful and has a lot of potential. As always, if you have any questions regarding how to actually get this running, let me know in the comment section. I'd be happy to help, although I'm going to share all the code <coughs> in the description. So it should be pretty easy and simple to deploy. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for viewing the video and if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe to our, to the channel uh, i'll see you probably tomorrow or the next day best of luck until then